Hello there, uh, this is part two, uh, just showing you how to kind of use the physics uh, body simulation to distribute uh, these uh, greens here and uh, meatballs uh, into the, the flying pan. So for this, uh, I'm just going to use this project itself. So to kind of distribute this, uh, you just have to create, uh, I mean, of my cursor to select it uh, so that I can put them direct the mesh. Just create a plane and uh, model it into the shape you want uh, of uh, the uh, veggies you want to the model. I'll just want make it too fancy. Just uh, move uh, the vertices around a bit, push them around like that, maybe rotate them like that. And I uh, give it uh, a material that, think, that you think will work. So let me do that. Now, what you just need to do is uh, give the, the meatballs uh, a collision physics property uh, so that they can interact with this uh, because we're going to be giving this a cloth uh, physics uh, property. So if we play back this, okay, I think because we have uh, we have uh, we have uh, the subdivision surfaces surface turned on on this. Uh, Blender is taking a while to simulate this, so I'm going to s to turn on simplify so that it can reduce uh, the resolution. So sorry, the subdivisions we have in the object. And uh, if we play back, you can see now uh, this is colliding with our our there mid mid balls. Uh, so let's scale this down a bit and you can see okay, so that's only one uh, if you want many just go to edit mode duplicate this around you can even edit it a bit uh, to make some variation but uh, that's that's okay uh, since it's kind of soft it will create a final resting position that is a different shape from the original so you can duplicate this and uh, maybe scale them a bit down can even just select a bunch of them and uh, duplicate them around like that and simulate. You can see how that looks. And even simulate around there, around here, so that they don't fall into from a great distance and then apply uh, the. Uh, for this, uh, because this is not a rigid body, uh, applying the rigid body transformation would not work you'd have to apply the cloth modifier and then re-add it back again to start the simulation from there. And you can see that's what we have. I like this being uh, hanging around there like that. So I'll apply uh, that like that. And then maybe duplicate a few of these again. Duplicate this again. You scale them down a bit and just give them a different material. So I'll just go to the materials here and give them this and uh, uh, then re-simulate uh, make sure that uh, they have the, uh, the cloth modifier yes, uh, then of these can first I, I don't this need this to be colliding don't need I don't want this to collide with this, so I'll just let's hide it and then let's play it back. You can also increase uh, the friction on these, so let me say 100, so that uh, this don't just slide off uh, the meatballs. So let's uh, simulate this again. Yeah, so that's how I did that. Uh, now you just have to apply uh, the cloth modifier and you're good like that yeah thank you for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial again if you want the, to work the entire process uh, let me make sure i don't show you my email <laughs> i have nothing there uh just uh yeah just go to Blender Money and uh, 
watch these two parts subscribe and uh, leave a like uh, yeah thank you